Nice having you again, my friends. Uh, in the previous video, we had looked at finding or calculating part A, which is the measure of angle ABC, and part B also, which is to use the where we use a uh, sine formula here to find the area of the triangle. Okay, and we said that the sine formula was equal to is area is equal to half AB sine C. Okay, and we had looked at how we went through that. So if you're not sure, you could always watch that video. Now, my friends, we are going to be looking, as I had promised, we are going to be looking at another method to find the area of the same triangle ABC. Now, please remember that area simply means the enclosed space being occupied. And if you notice, I've shaded that region there on our triangle, which my pointer is really pointing on now. Okay, my friends, a shaded region is called the area of the triangle. That's what we're going to be finding. Now, here I have the Heron's formula. And the Heron's formula states that area is equal to the square root, okay, my friends, of S open bracket s minus a close bracket okay multiplied by s minus b multiplied by s minus c okay now s really represents the semi perimeter okay a b and c represents each length of each the length rather of each side on our triangle now really um by perimeter um, we all should learn from earlier lessons that the perimeter simply means the distance around the object okay or around the the triangle the shape or the figure so for example the perimeter would be a to b plus b to c plus c to a okay all of that distance around there so basically what we're going to be doing in simplicity is to just add up all the sides on the um on the triangle okay so first before we can substitute any values in our formula we are going to have to find the value of s which is a semi-perimeter so here i have S is equal to A, and if you notice from our diagram, A would be 65, okay? Um, that length there, so I have 65 plus my B, and B would be 226. 226 plus my C, which will be 174, okay, my friends? And all of that is being divided by 2 because we need a semi-perimeter. Now, this would be equal to, <coughs> we're saying 65 plus 226 plus 174 and by mental arithmetic that should be 465 divided by 2 okay my friends which should be equal to 232.5 so that's 232.5 so therefore let's just make a quick note therefore therefore or s is equal to 2 132.5 so since we have found the value of s now we can go ahead and substitute it in our formula okay so our formula states that area let's just make a quick note here area is e is equal to the root square root okay of s if you notice we have s there so we found s to be 230 2.5 okay multiplied my friends so let's open bracket multiplied by s again if you notice we have a s there so we're going to have to put back our 232.5 minus a and if you notice guys a would be a would be in this case if you notice from the diagram a 65 so we're subtracting 65 close bracket open bracket again and if you notice in the second bracket I have s so I'm going to have to put back that value which is 232.5 minus b now and if we should look at the diagram b is 226 so we're subtracting 226 close bracket open bracket again and if you notice we have in the final bracket we have s which is a 232 Point five minus or C and in this case C is 174 close bracket and we're taking the square root of all of that okay so hope you're seeing that let me just pull this over a bit so we can see it a little bit clearer okay my friends so pretty much uh, that's it so all we're going to do from here now, we're just going to simplify and substitute. We're just going to simplify what's under the root, okay? So really here we have area. 
area is equal to the square root okay the square root and let's just let's just simplify we have a 232.5 open bracket multiplied by 232.5 minus 65 and that should leave us with 167.5 167.5 okay close bracket and let me just put this in a bracket to show that all of this is multiplying each other and then we have another open bracket now and we have 232.5 minus 226 and that should leave us with 6 6.5 close bracket open bracket here we have a 232.5 minus 174 and that should leave us with 58 Point five. Okay, so when we multiply out all of this now, my friends, let's just pull this down a bit. When we multiply out all of that, we should have area, area, is equal to the square root, square root of. And when we, when all of this is being multiplied, we should get something like fourteen million eight hundred and eight thousand. 360.94 okay and when we take the square root of that we would have area area is equal to 3848.16 and I just wrote that to 2dp and remember area is in meters squared okay and pretty much my friends this would be our answer okay this here is our answer so let's just put that there now let's just let me just make a quick note that's our answer now if you make a comparison my friends if you notice the area of the triangle when we use the herons formula worked out to be 3848.16 meters squared and if you notice when we use the sine rule in the previous lesson and if you're not sure you could always go back and watch a previous video in the playlist okay when we use um, the sine rule we got 3,849.48 meters squared now if you notice they are very close um, even though it's not exact now let me just quickly explain the reason for that um, this the, the angle when we were asked to find the angle at B my friends um, remember we had round it off to 1 DP okay so when we when we substitute it back in the sine formula that's why we got 0.9 because this was a rounded rounded off answer it was rounded off to 1 DP versus when we use the herons formula we use the exact values the, these values weren't rounded off we use the exact values so that's why we got a more precise answer when we use the herons formula to calculate the area okay my friends so both answers are correct okay but it's just uh, the numbers that's why that's why it's not, that's why it's not exact okay so don't worry about it um, any method you use you'll still get full marks okay see you in the next video bye bye